it is to understand that we assign meaning to things. If we put aside our thinking mind for a second, then we will realize that nothing is inherently good or bad in this reality. It is always our interpretation of events that causes more misery than it may be. Now this is not to say that no event will shake us with great deal of pain. But even then, suffering is optional. Suffering is only mental. Well, pain is in the body. It is our resistance to anything that causes suffering. We want a situation to go away so badly that we suffer from its existence. Not knowing that whatever we resist, persists. But this is not to say that we accept all these unfavorable events and conditions in our life. No, we can change them as we are powerful manifestors. We are the arbiters of this reality. This is vital for you to understand in order to become the master of your emotional state. That reality is coming out of you. It is not happening to you, but through you. Therefore, when you react to any event negatively and resist it strongly, you are implying that it is real by putting all of your attention on it. So it stays and haunts you for much longer than it should have. And it will create more events like it. This is why you must understand that it is you who is assigning any meaning to any event. So you can be neutral to an event and do not give it any power. It will wither away. Or you can even put your attention on your desired reality and manifest that. You see. Your attention is your reality manifestation currency. Wherever you put it on, you manifest it. So how you choose to spend this currency dictates your life. So mastering emotions is a simple matter of understanding reality. It is about denouncing anything external and always relying on inner power. Assigning preferred meaning to every event. And being completely biased in your reality. Do you think Elon Musk is being rational and too optimistic from regular people's point of view? Exactly. All successful people are always completely biased to their story. They always interpret reality how they like it. Not what is actually happening. This is not to say that they are delusional and deny those events. They simply don't interpret a seeming failure as failure. It is just a stepping stone to success. It is always you who assigns extra misery than it actually might be. By labeling the event to be bad or horrible. Remember to be biased towards your preferred reality. Remember to interpret everything from the frame of reference of self-love. Drop any thought that gives power to the negative state. Someone does you wrong, if it is forgivable then forgive. Otherwise, be indifferent and walk away. Your attention is too precious to be put on one human that is not even important to you. Invest your attention on what you actually want to experience or have. Our reality is a reflection of who we are internally. So, if you do not react to negative events, then they are bound to contract and become less and less as you progress upward in consciousness. Most people get stuck on the facts of life. That is, he did me wrong. The government is ripping us off. My ex cheated. All of that is true. But you have to decide. Do you want to keep on suffering or actually enjoy your life? Because guess what, putting your attention on the unwanted truth is equivalent to create it again in your life. As Neville Goddard said, do not waste one moment in regret, for to think feelingly of the mistakes of the past is to reinfect yourself. You see, it is not about what is true or not. It is about what do you want to experience. You holding on to that grudge is only hurting you nobody else. Therefore, it is always about us and not them. It is always about your internal world and external. You shape the external. So, put your attention on what you want. And be neutral to the so-called true facts of life. People who are stuck on the facts of life can never pass them. And stay stuck. Because the more you focus on facts the more you see more facts to justify your state. And the game continues. Rise above the facts. And understand that it is you who gives meaning to things and events. Be biased. Always be biased to your story. And interpret how it fits your story. And emotional regulation will become easier by the day. It takes practice but try it and you will see for yourself how things do not trigger you as much. You will feel inner power and a sense of control. Even though we are not controlling anything but our attention. We are letting go of the fake sense of control on the shadow world that we see, and we only focus on controlling our attention. And the shadow world will automatically conform to our attention. So, the one trick to become master of emotions is to master your attention. Be biased and invest your attention, do not waste it. And it all becomes easier to understand when you realize that we shape our reality. It is happening through you, not to you. Watch this video next if you are curious about how reality works. It is a complete guide to help you understand more why you should not waste your attention and invest it.
be biased. Be brazenly impudent. Be unshakable.